Get ready to work your booty off, literally. Let's get it done. Ankle weights are on, coming down onto your hands and your knees, curling your toes underneath your heels, and then coming down onto your forearms, palms are flat. Hover off of your knees. Mm -hmm. Point your right toe, bring your right knee into your chest, and then come up to a three-legged dolphin. Knee to chest, three-legged dolphin. Hips stay square, so I don't care how high your right leg gets. I want you to feel your glute squeeze at the top, lower down. Curl both toes under. Hover off of your knees. You can clasp your hands on this one. Tap to the side. Kick it behind you. Tap to the side. Extend behind you. Hold that left knee hovering. Drop it at any time. <sighs> Hands apart, palms down. Toes, knees, and ankles together. Hover off your knees. Butterfly your knees open and close. Let's go. Out, in. <sighs> Good, shoulders on top of your elbows. Pull your belly in. Drive your heels together as you draw your knees open. Two, one. Good, left forearm stays where it is. Right hand comes onto the floor. Point your left toe, lift your right knee, open up your right hip, ankle tap, and then extend out 45 degrees. Knee and hip stay open. Extend out. Mm -hmm. The upper outer portion of your bum should be activated after that first leg extension. <sighs> All right, how'd that feel? Forearms down. Curl your toes. Knee to chest, three-legged dolphin. Let's go. Point. Extend. Hips are square, so the eyes of the hips face the mat the whole time. Reach, extend, squeeze your booty at the top. Both toes curled under. Clasp your hands, extend and tap that leg to the side and extend it back behind you. Keep that right knee as low as you can without touching the floor. Nice and slow. Lateral tap right outside of the hip. Butterflying those knees. Palms and forearms come, to, come apart. Toes, ankles, knees, thighs together. Shoulders on top of those elbows. Squeeze the heels together. Zip up your pants back as flat. <sighs> Big diamond shape in those legs. <sighs> Knees lower. Woo! Forearm, left hand. Point your right toe. Mm -hmm. Open up that left hip. Ankles tap. Extend out 45 degrees. Ankle tap. Mm -hmm. Up and out. Okay, we've done one on either side. One set on either side. One more set. Uh-huh, curl those left toes. Right knee to chest. Good, focus on your form. Tempo doesn't matter. It's actually harder when you slow it down. So try to eliminate the momentum. Don't whip through these postures. <laughs> Those forearms. <laughs> Clasp your hands. Side tap. Leg extends right out behind you. That leg extend behind you, it doesn't have to be high. 
It has to be long. Option, left knee stays down. Forearms come apart, butterfly. Toes are curled underneath you. Squeeze those heels together. I don't care about your tempo. I don't want those heels coming apart. Big diamond shape. The more you diamond your knees apart, the more you'll feel it activating the glutes, the inner outer thighs. Look forward. Whew. Whew. Right hand down, left forearm down, point. Attitude, ankle tap, extend out 45 degrees. Not back, not side, right in the middle. One more round. We can do that. We can do that. Need a chest. Three-legged dolphin. Dolphin is a downward facing dog on your forearms. Three-legged dolphin is one leg high to the sky. My glutes are on fire but stabilizing with my chest, my shoulders, and triceps. Holy smokes. Take your time, especially as you start to fatigue. You really want those postures to have the right alignment. Maybe that means you modify. Doesn't make it easier. It just makes it safer for you to activate all those muscles in the right way. Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Heels glue knees out. Heels connect knees out. Oh, three, two. Man, that timer went slow. Right forearm, left hand. Right toes point. Left ankle on top of right. Open up that hip. Last exercise. Zip up your pants. Up and out. Big extension. Nice and slow. Good. Grab a drink right back here. We're still working those glutes. We're still focusing on stabilizing through the upper body. Are we ready? On your hands and knees. Extend your right leg out. Bring your right leg to the right edge of your mat. Mm -hmm. Soften your elbows as you rainbow that leg all the way up and over. Look over your left shoulder. Soften your elbows. Bring it back down. Big rainbow. Belly in, back is flat, your chest lowers because your heel rises. Extend that right leg straight out. Curl your left toes. Come off of your left knee, straighten your left leg. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Cross your ankles as you shift into a plank right on top of left. Press back, three-legged dog. Mm-hmm. Shift down into a plank. Option, three-legged dog, kneeling plank, right ankle crosses, three-legged dog, lower down. Beautiful. You're going to take your right leg and lift it up and down. 
slow, lower, slow, lift it, slow option, drop to your knees, drop to your forearms. I want you four beats on the way down, four beats on the way up. That is slow. Good. Three-legged dog, right leg is in the sky. You're looking at your fingertips. We're drawing a letter D. Bring that right leg straight up to the ceiling. Wrap it around. Complete your letter D. Now reverse your letter D. All the way out and up. Draw a straight line down. D, straight line up. Look at your fingers. Bring it out. Lower. Watch your left hip and left shoulder. Keep yourself nice and square, nice and steady. How are you feeling? <laughs> Extend that leg, left leg, off the left edge of your mat, lower your chest. Rainbow, look over your right shoulder. Lower, all the way out to the side. <sighs> Even weight distribution in both hands. Use your core. <sighs> Curl those or bottom toes, right toes under three-legged plank. And then you're going to cross, excuse me, three-legged dog, cross your legs in your plank. Off your right knee, straighten your right leg. Lift that left leg, cross left over right. Dropping to your right knee during your plank. If at any time you need a little extra support, a little more grounding, squeeze your bum in your plank, cross your ankles, squeeze your inner thighs. Option, down on your right knee, down on your forearms, left leg lifts up and down, slow. Lift, look at your fingertips. You're either in a three-legged dog or you're on your knee and on your forearms. Look at your hands. Good, we have that letter D. Left leg straight up to the sky. Bring it out and around. Watch your right hip all the way out, up, lower, straight down. Up and around, letter D, reverse it. Option, drop to your right knee, drop to your forearms. Big letter D out to the side. Big up and around. Both are hard. Pick your poison. Be safe, let's rainbow. Outside of the right edge of your mat, look over your left shoulder. Good, I want you to lift that heel so high that you feel your hamstrings and your glutes ignite. Crossing. Ankles in that plank, three-legged dog. Good, you can do this whole series and take your ankle weights off. If you're like, yeah, I can do these moves, but the ankle weights add too much resistance, ditch them. Then maybe you add those ankle weights and you take those modifications and you build up. <sighs> Down dog, leg lift, right leg only. Looking at your hands, not to your toes. <sighs> Left heel is heavy. <sighs> Slow. Slow on the way up. Full extension, open up your armpits. Slow on the way down, look at your fingertips. Look through your hands. <sighs> Whew, I'm taking a knee. Next up, letter D. You're on your knees, you're on your forearms, you're on your hands, you're on your toes. <sighs> last round on this right side. Last exercise on this right side. <sighs> you're stabilizing in that left leg, in that left hip. Don't let that left hip follow your letter. That D is only in the right leg. <sighs> Easier said than done. Extend that left leg off the left edge of your mat. 
Drop your chest. Gaze over that right shoulder. Ankle cross in that plank. Squeeze your bum. The first thing that I feel, which would make me want to drop to my knee, is the pressure in that right knee when I'm coming into a plank. If you feel that too, drop into that knee. Leg lifts. Knees, forearms, hand, toes, no matter where you are, that left leg is moving slow. Look at your fingertips. Rib cage towards your right thigh. We're drawing a D. Straight up, out and around. Last exercise. Watch that right hip. Keep it stacked on top of your knee and your ankle. Bringing that leg out to the side. Shoo. I'll tell you what. Those eight exercises are here to stay. I love them. We're not messing around. Great job, 16 minutes.